I really, I really appreciate it. So thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you to the media. Uh, you guys have been with me since DV8. <laughs> yes, behind the scenes, some of you have footage which you shouldn't release and uh, keep it that way. Some of you have footage that you have released now. Thank you guys so much uh, for your influence as well as media. Thank you to all the team that's been behind the scenes as well. Everyone who's ever supported me, NAV Corp, Talent, um, all the people who made me what I am. Uh, thank you so much. Clear cut in the building, definitely. Um, and of course, my ghost writer, Count Machura as well, who's in the building. Um, thank you guys so much. Code, you know, I see all the guys who are putting in work and uh, I really appreciate the industry as it stands right now. So thank all of you guys. Uh, my name is uh, Rubwama, <laughs> Daniel Chigozi. Um, I'm an artist who started off uh, 10 years old, was the first time I was ever in the studio. I was produced by some unknown producer called Steve Jean. <laughs> he was uh, he was an intern at Bava Studios in Lunguja, which is of course Rubaga Lunguja is like the same neighborhood. Uh, so that's the first time I ever got into studio. Uh, since then, we've kind of been working to get better and better, bigger and better. Um, the clear cut days, uh, through the talent and Navio days, um, into where we are now. Um, it's been a long journey. Uh, like I say, 35, 40 countries toured representing Ugandan music. Um, closer to 70 awards now. Uh, for the music we've put in and um, just there's just a thousand stories between here and there uh, that I could mention but yeah at the end of the day it's it's been an epic journey and you guys have been on that journey with me uh, as well as a lot of the sponsors on here as well have been on that journey with me so um, you know I wouldn't be here without you guys the fans all of the fans that are watching you guys are the ones who fuel us and make us better man so thank you guys so much for that um, yeah, so I'm neighborhood Navio, man. You never know what, what, what neighborhood you're going to catch me in. Yeah, neighborhood, neighborhood Navio. All right, so I feel like, honestly speaking, Timothy Cord is here. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, Navio gives the best interviews. Every time you come to the show, best interviews, always very professional, fun, and name it, everything in between. Uh, I think Navio... Uh, pre-clear cut or around the clear cut days was more of a hype man that's what people don't know realize I was I was never the most lyrical or the most uh, and nothing's changed <laughs> no, but I, I, was, I was never the most uh, talented in the group um, but I know I had to represent for the guys that were in the group with me so yeah there, there may have been times where I ran on stage and I would just shout the whole time get your hands up put your hands down Left, righty, hands in the air. Um, but I knew that I had to get better, and I and I knew there had to be more substance with what I do. Um, and I had very good, very good teachers in KUT Clear Cut to kind of get my rhymes together and, and, and have me become, you know, the, the the battle MC that gets respect from Kenya to Nigeria to South Africa, uh, to become that MC who is able to travel around and 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 be known on other continents and take selfies. And, Malaysia, you know, some of the most unexpected places that we get stopped, you know, by, by people on the continent um, um, and off the continent to take selfies. So I'd say that was really, yeah, one of the one of the, the funniest things. And I may share footage with the media of me jumping up and down, uh, saying not much of anything when I used to be a girl on stage. Um, so it's, it's, it's weird to see that journey. Um, another one would be, uh, you need another one? Or we'll leave you today. We can leave it right there. <laughs> Let's have a couple it. of questions. <laughs> yeah, 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 All right. yeah. You know, uh, I feel like uh, most rappers, and this is not just in Uganda, this is all over the world, when you look at, you know, what they're doing with their free time, let's say they're behind the scenes, or let's say their music as well. I find like you are one of those artists that really do care about the community. And uh, just to throw you to here at the 20 years, we are watching something called Project X on NBS television. And while I was watching one of the episodes, I realized one thing, that you're digging into culture, into tradition, into people. And I really strongly believe that the biggest tourist attraction that we have in Uganda is actually the people, not necessarily the animals. So that, makes, that gets me to my question. How important is community to you, and what exactly are you doing with Project X? Yeah, I mean, community is huge. Um for me personally, I think I, I never really put it at the forefront uh, at times when I should have. Uh, 
Uh, but I think even from the clear cut days, you know, we had one of the biggest tours um, around to, to, to raise awareness, AIDS awareness. Um, and this is like back in 2002, 2003. Uh, we were part of the, you know, uh, all of, a lot of those big pushes uh, for awareness. Um, of course, everybody knows I'm in and out of the refugee camps a lot, you know, um, and that's just from my own experience, you know, having this displaced between here and, uh, you know, uh, Kenya during the Civil War and stuff. Um, so people know about that as well, uh, off the ground as well, people with disabilities. Uh, we work, uh, you know, hand in hand with them. Um, women's empowerment programs, so many over the years. Uh, child education programs, girls' child education programs, mm -hmm. alongside Rahu and the crew. Uh, really, I'd, I'd say that if, you know, people are always like, oh, you give 150% of your time to music, but I'd say if I have 100%, 30% of my time is probably dedicated to that community outreach, um, but I don't really talk about it. It's not really at the yeah. forefront of what people want to know about Navio. That's more of a Luama Daniel thing, um, uh, but it is very important. And of course, you know, um, I see Baba in the building as well. You know, he's all about community, um, and we've, you know, we've had talks and stuff over the years. I think there's a mutual respect for what we do above the line, below the line, in the hood, out the hood, um, for 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 projects we've been a part of. I think any hip hop or anyone who's involved in hip hop from our days, whether it's the Sylvester's Abrams, Baba, us guys, uh, Clear Cut, it's. It's something that came with the hip hop responsibility, and that's the difference between us and a lot of genres. The community is part of what we do. I thank you so much because when we're celebrating Navio, as much as I would like to keep it completely to the music, I told you that you're very inspirational in terms of people who just love the rap culture or the music entertainment industry. It kind of, uh, you know, tells you that do this, but you also got to do this. You have to check yourself, you have to always look dapper, you have to look clean, you have to, you know. Go out there and represent us. Uh, in that spirit, you mentioned of Baba Luku. It's good to have you in the building. And uh, yeah, thank you for your community contributions. Lyrical G is also in here. So if you came to celebrate Navio, you know the vibes. Uh, you know, Champion Flex the paper. Now doing what they do for the sake of their jobs. They're doing it for the sake of family. So I think um, it's never a competition between family and, and work. You work for your family. Uh, family, for me, is the most important thing. Um, and I think that work ethic was, you know, it was kind of early. I had, you know, I had my, uh, my son is now 14. You know, he's, he's, he's a big boy. He's, he's bigger shoes than me, bigger hands. You know what I mean? Um, so it's beautiful to see them grow and, and, and how he's kept me focused. I believe that I had a certain amount of expectations coming in. But when he was born, you know, that really made me uh, reassess how I want to be remembered. Um, and, 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 and how hard I go. So for me, family and work, they go hand in hand. The, the expression you see, the creativity, the, 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 the drive, the consistency, the people mention for me, I get that because I get that reminder every time I go home that I'm not working for me, I'm working for family. So the two, the two go hand in hand. Um, I think this is like what, my, my ninth show. Um, this for me is 20 years because nothing is guaranteed. We're not guaranteed I'm going to get a 30 years. We're not guaranteed I'm going to get a 40 years. So for me, this is such a huge milestone. Everything has to be on point, spectacular. Um, and, and, and I have to show what, you know, those 70 awards, what those 35, 40 countries that we've toured, what the experiences with different programs, everything from, you know, 1-8 to Twende Kazi to, you know, the Channel O nominations, everything from clear cut, uh, the days touring around Africa, you know what I mean? From bus border to private jet, uh, you know, I gotta show what all of that has taught me for two to three hours on a stage. That's how I'm, I'm regarding it. So for me, it's, it's, it's life or death, you know what I mean? Like uh, everything my brand has built to, everything that we've been coming to is coming to a head here. But then also at the same time, it's a huge celebration. I, I made it back from West Africa. I made it back from, you know, Asia and everywhere that I've been. You know, all those awards, I've made it back from there, bringing it home. So now for me, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a coming, coming home story. You know what I mean? And this is how it ends. Like, this is the huge celebration. People are coming to party. People are coming to have fun. Um, you know, so, yeah, even, even you know, the, the, my closest friends that I've been talking to are like, we're here to celebrate. You know what I mean? As, as much as like, you know, things, everything's going to be running smoothly. 
the first and foremost we're here to celebrate and have a good time so uh yeah man if, if you know if you want to be at the, the the craziest party in town make sure you guys come down um you know and and have a good time i think it's a safe spot that we've picked thank you to sheraton for providing such a safe dynamic you know whether it comes to the vips um or, or everyone else who's coming you know the regular folk like me we're all gonna be in the same place all gonna be safe all gonna be taken care of great yeah. security you know the place is walled in really nice and uh you know a breezy breezy gardens in sheraton who, who doesn't want to be in in a, in a situation like that it's very central um i'm look i'm really looking forward to the experience all right uh and that uh yeah we're gonna we have a book that's coming out october 19th um so all of the experiences that i've learned over this 20 years uh, we have a book that's coming out um, i have a, my partner that i'm working with on it called jeffrey samaganda when i wanted to see him to say a few words uh, about the project um yeah before we get to the questions um and yes you wrote a book yes i've been writing it gwe nanga wandye taze okwato mukologo nga okwanjula embaga amazali wa baby shower kohenjira nebi lalabinji mkwanjula glosh tv baka fulubo kuba ebifana nyino kuata video elanga wandye taze okulanga wamune glosh tv kuwa kunamba esi mueno noti musamvu tano noti asatu muemu abili chinana musatu tuwe yunire olemekwe jusaa